So this is what the app is going to, to look like when you download it. It has a number of things. Down. There's something called breathing counts. Breathing counts is number four. So when you click on that, what you'll see is a lot of different breathing counts that will match essentially any level of stress that you have. Two in, three out, three in, three out, and it goes on from there. If you are doing something that's too slow or too fast for you, it may be uncomfortable. And if, it's, if you're struggling for breath, it's giving you stress. That's not what we're doing this for. You're trying to find a breathing rhythm that matches where you are right now. When I'm a little bit irritated or stressed, I usually start with three in, five out, or four, four in, six out. Again, you'll notice I have many of them with the exhalation, the out breath longer than the in breath for the same reason I told you before, that that again tells your body this is a relaxation response, time to relax. We're breathing out longer than we're breathing in, must be safe here, no danger. Download this. If you look up at the top, it says view all, and then it says over here, my collection. But so once you choose one, it will go over to my collection. That's where you can find it. And then once you listen to it, once you've listened to it once on your phone, you no longer need Wi-Fi. It is in your phone, and you can turn the Wi-Fi off next to your bed, which I definitely recommend. Do not keep that phone next to your head or your bed with the Wi-Fi on. It's constantly sending out a signal. You don't need any more electromagnetic radiation than you get every day. So this is designed, put it on airplane mode, then you can put it next to your head or softly if there's somebody uh, in the room or you don't want to make much noise, you can put it right next to your ear and you can breathe with this. One of the other things that you want to try is, is called breathing melodies. Once you figure out what your breathing rate is, is it three, four, five, six per second, or six seconds, you see melodies with two to three second cues, melodies with four to five second cues, melodies with six, seven, and eight. So if you say, well, I like the four second, four seconds really is where I am. You can choose one of these melodies. These are Bible verses. It is scripture. I'm actually singing a song I wrote to that Bible verse with four second breathing cues inserted in that Bible verse. So you're actually meditating on the Word of God, listening to a song that I'm hoping is going to come to mind the next day when you're humming the tune, or that's what we want. We want the meditation of God's Word to become alive in us. So you can choose a number of different songs. You see the first one is from Psalm 18, the second one is Psalm 100. You can do some experimentation with that. The thing about these they don't say inhale, exhale. The breathing counts will tell you inhale and exhale. These cues only say breathe, breathe, breathe. You can decide if it's inhale or exhale, whichever you're doing. It's, and then at some point, I also have a cue inserted that says smile. You breathe and smile. You don't just smile and forget to breathe. But smiling, when we smile, we take in information differently. You are meditating on the Word of God. And when you smile, you are remembering what you're meditating on, and you also are going to receive that information positively. I'm giving thanks to God. He's with me. Whatever it is you're meditating on, you're going to breathe and smile. And if you find yourself getting lightheaded, you are hyperventilating. It's too fast for you. You need a slower... <laughs> A slower one, because what we're trying to do with these breathing counts and with these melodies is synchronize your breathing. We typically breathe from the chest, as I mentioned, erratically. And if you feel yourself throughout the day with a big sigh, that's your clue that you've been holding your breath. That's your clue that you are in stress and you didn't know it and you've been holding your breath and you are not breathing anywhere near a synchronized fashion. Your body is having to dump all this air out because you've been holding it. 
See, we're starting to get to know our bodies better. We're starting to understand who we are. Most of us are so surrounded by stress, it's like a fish in the water. We don't even notice it anymore. Unless I point out to you that sigh. Why are you holding your breath? Way down here under imagination meditations. So under imagination meditations, what I have done, and I, I have taken a verse of scripture or a passage of scripture, and I have made a guided meditation. We are so used to video that often our imaginations have atrophied. We, we, we can't read the Bible and imagine. I've given you a script. It is not radio theater. It is for you to imagine. I've got the words, they are slow, they are methodical, there is a cadence to them, but it is designed to help you put on the screen of your imagination the words of God, the images of God, the truth of God, the beauty of God. You get to create that in your own mind, and that's the way that God designed it. Woman at the well, we've got the throne room. Peter, you actually get to walk on the water for a bit on that one. One of the ways, if you're having trouble sleeping, what I do, I will do either breathing counts or my breathing melodies for as many cycles as I need until I can get my, wiggle my jaw, get myself to yawn. Once I start yawning, I have an idea that I'm neurologically ready to sleep. And then I will go and play one of these imagination exercises. I mean, what is counting sheep? It's as you get yourself meditating, and then turn something onto your imagination, you naturally will drift into sleep.